continuing with uh, more questions of comparing quantities. In this question, he says that uh, to gain 25% after allowing a discount of 10%, what price the shopkeeper must mark, right? So that is mark price is what we have to find out, which cost him, that is CP is given 360. As I told you in the previous video also, that uh, in order to do these kind of questions, two things are involved. One, writing the information symbolically and using the suitable formula to get the answer. Now, as we read the, the question, it says that we know the profit percent. So we say profit percent P is equal to 25%. Next, we have uh, the discount. Discount, say, denoted by D. Uh, D is equal to 10%. This is what we have, the discount percent. And uh, it's also another information is the cost price that we have. So we know CP, that is, CP is given as uh, 360. So it's rupees 360. What we have to find out is the mark price. So we'll write down, say M dot P is equal to, this is equal to, question mark. Now, once we have written these information symbolically, now we can access the formula. We have to get MP. And as I can see, for finding M mark price, we need the selling price. And we don't have selling price. And in order to get selling price, we need the cost price and the profit percent, which we have. So let's apply the first formula here. I'm applying the first in the order written on the screen. So this is SP is equal to 100. No, uh, yeah, we can find the SP, right? 100 plus profit percent over 100 and that multiplied by the CP. So replacing this profit percent with its value that is 25 over 100 multiplied by the CP, which is 360. So this comes out to be 125 over 100 multiplied by 360. This is uh, divisible as you know, 25, 5 times 25, 4 times 4, 1 times 4, 90 times. So we got the selling price here, which is uh, 90 into 5, 9 into 5 is 45. So rupees 450 is what we got the selling price. As I said, next, as we get uh, the one value in order to get the other, we will be applying the second formula here. And this time I'm going to use the second one in the order of the screen. SP is equal to 100 minus D percent, D stands for discount, into mark price. Now here we have to get the mark price and we know the selling price as we have already calculated in the question. So we can replace this SP with its value which we just calculated as it is coming as 450 is equal to 100 minus discount percent is 10 percent. This is 10 over 100 and that multiplied by the mark price is what we have to get. So this is 450 is equal to 100 minus 10 is 90 over 100 that into mark price. So these zeros can be cancelled and now in order to get the mark price I'll be transposing these values to the left. So it it should be 10 over 9. As you know, on transposing, it, the, num the fraction gets re reciprocated in case of multiply. Now, continuing with this, this is 9 1 times and 9 5 times is 45. So 45 into 10, 45 multiplied by 10. So finally, we can say that the mark price for obtain is 50 into 10, and that is rupees 500. So this was uh, what we have to get, the mark price, and we got this value as rupees 500.